What's up tweakers? Today we're going to learn how to make the rotating snakes optical illusion in Adobe Illustrator. This is an example of the illusion we're going to make. Uh, it looks like it's moving even when it's not. Let's fucking get into it. So I'm just going to start a new file. I'm going to name it rotating snakes. Uh, for the width and the height I'm going to choose 1500. Okay. Uh, now that I have uh, the artboard open, um, first we need to create sort of this checkerboard pattern that goes white, black, white, black. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to make this stroke black and take away this fill. So we're just working with um, just this outline pink. Uh, that way we can see everything that we're doing. We can take away all the unnecessary stuff later. So let's go to the ellipse tool. You can hit L on the keyboard and click and drag while holding shift to create a perfect circle. And we're just going to do something like that. Uh, we're not going to pull exact measurements. And I'm just going to change the stroke to 10 just so I can see it a little bit better. And using the align panel, let's align this horizontally and vertically. Uh, make sure you're aligned to artboard when you do that. Okay. And now that we have a perfect circle, we need to draw sort of a checkerboard segment map around it. So hit your line segment tool. You can just hit backslash on your keyboard and click and hold shift while pulling down to pull it straight down and that's all we want. We just want perfect line like that and yeah just again align that horizontally and vertically and now we want to rotate we want to copy and rotate this shape all around the artboard so let's do that with the transform command in object transform rotate. Turn on a little preview um, the uh, I am going to use 10 degrees uh, just to make a more complicated um, rotating snake. So using 10 degrees, just hit copy. And now we want to duplicate that command. So just hit command D over and over again. Command D as in dog. And yeah, just uh, go around until it uh, completes a circle like that. Uh, it's all perfect. Um, all the segments are the same. Uh, and now we just want to uh, just copy this circle. So hit Command C, and now paste it in place. Command Shift V, as in Velveeta. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's just uh, scale this down. So holding Option, click and drag down, and hold Shift to scale a scale down a perfect circle from the center. And yeah, we want a bit of a longer square section here. Um, actually, I'm gonna go a bit bigger than that even. Or a bit taller, rather. Yeah, I think about there is uh, what I want. Um, that looks pretty good. And now we just need to get rid of all this unnecessary stuff. So let's highlight everything. Go to the Shape Builder tool. You can hit Shift M. And uh, this is what it should look like. And if you hold Option, you should see that minus. That means we're going to take away shapes. This would be filling shapes. So holding Option, click and drag across all these center lines and you can see uh, it all goes away pretty quick and you can do it with these outside lines as well so you can you can also just click them one by one but yeah just to get more than one at a time makes it a little bit easier and yeah uh, make sure you don't like go in like that uh, but if you do just command Z and you can just keep going And there we are. Um, so this is the shape that I want to see. And now I want to fill um, a kind of checkerboard pattern in all of the different sections. So again, with uh, all of it highlighted, Shape Builder tool selected, uh, you'll see these swatches. You can kind of uh, toggle through them with the arrow key. You can also just click the swatch that you want. Uh, we do want to keep the uh, Magenta stroke for now, um, but I just want to do black because we're just going to do black and white checkerboard pattern across this so yeah just going to do that now just on again off again um should should have thought of uh, some jokes to do while i go around this circle but you know i didn't um and i got to do it again because we got to do it with white so i just go to white now and do the same thing do the same thing. Could have thought of two jokes here, but just talking in circles. Good job. Really planned it out. Okay. 
Um, I think that's all the way around. Um, we'll just go a few more just in case. Uh, that should be good. Um, great. Um, so this is what we want to see. Uh, we just want to take away the magenta stroke now. So highlight it all. Go to the stroke. Just hit none. And uh, yeah, this is what we want to see. It's all um, not a group right now. So let's highlight it all and command G to make it a group. So yeah, this should all be one piece now. Okay, and now we're gonna create the oval shapes that kind of make uh, this illusion look like it moves. Um, so go to the ellipse tool. Let's go to the fill, and we're just gonna choose one of these like lighter greens. And yeah, what we wanna do is just starting from the top of the shape, we just wanna pull a tall, skinny oval maybe a little bit fatter than that and we want to center it on this shape so that looks pretty good right here perfect and now we want to copy that shape on the bottom as well so again zoom in and make sure it's aligned well just like that. Um, yeah, you could also just um, highlight both of them, click the circular shape, and hit align vertical bottom. That's gonna get it exact. And yeah, it's gonna show me that uh, my shape was kind of wrong. So I'm gonna fix that. That looks pretty good. I'll, I'll do it up here as well. So yeah, highlight them both. Uh, click the circle to make it a key object and align to the top. That's gonna make the uh, circle shape not move and just this shape move. And yeah, I gotta fix that again. Uh, I tried to get away with shoddy work, but you caught me. You caught me, Illustrator. Okay, great. Uh, that's what we wanna see. So now highlight both of these shapes and we're gonna rotate it just like we did the, uh, the, the line shapes in the beginning. So just go to Object, Transform, Rotate. We're gonna keep that 10 and just hit copy and then command D to duplicate that all the way around. Great, that's what we want to see. And now we have to uh, tick tock the colors of our checkerboard pattern. Tick tock just means on again, off again. Um, bit of a esoteric term. Uh, but again, uh, just kind of click all of the shapes to the right of the black squares. So it's the same pattern. We don't want to mix it up. We want to keep this consistent. Okay, just like that. And we're going to turn it to this light blue here. Great. So this is the, this is what shape that we want to be working with. This looks just about perfect to make the illusion work. So now I'm going to highlight all of this. I'm going to again, I'm going to again make this a group. So command G. And now I'm just going to cop make a make a perfect copy. So uh, still with it centered, Command C, Command Shift V, and now I should have two copies. And I'm going to scale that down until it just meets just perfectly with the outside or the inside rather of uh, our initial shape. Actually, I'm going to try that again. There we go. That's what I want to see. And now I'm going to transform and rotate that another 10 degrees. Perfect. That's the shape that we want. We want that blue green pattern. And now we can highlight both of these. Make them a group. Command G. Then make an exact copy again. Command C. Command Shift V. And then we're going to hold option, click and drag while holding shift to scale a perfect version of it from the center. That's what we want to see. And we're just going to keep repeating this pattern, making perfect copies of that, and then just scaling them in. And eventually it's going to get to a place where we can't see the pattern anymore. 
and it's all just gonna create this one psychedelic shape. I think that looks pretty good. Um, this is uh, definitely the base shape that we want and uh, the way that we're gonna really make this effect go crazy I'm just gonna pull pull a copy in here is uh, stacking some of these rotating snakes on top of each other so uh, the most effective way I have found to do that is to just make kind of like four corners of them so I'm just gonna pull yeah I'm um, just a uh, shape in the corner like that and let's scale it you know to roughly halfway gonna do this fairly fast just a little bit bigger I'm just gonna make a copy over here um, move it in highlight them both and just scale it to where it just fits just in the artboard and then with uh, those two shapes I'm gonna hold option click and drag down until it just hits the bottom then I'm just gonna grab one holding option. It's going to click it in the center. You can just uh, use the command panel to uh, center that up. And then I'm going to command shift left bracket to throw it in the back. You can also just go to the arrange panel and send it back here. And uh, yeah, just like that. Um, I think this is probably, yeah, the most effective pattern um, to do for rotating snakes. But yeah, you can just keep adding some, you know, make it, make it really psychedelic, make a, uh, Make your brain really hate itself. Um, but yeah, it's a fun fun pattern to make. It's super trippy if you want to, you know, freak out your high friends. Oh, Jesus, that's that's going to mess me up good. Uh, yeah, you can do this optical illusion. Uh, it's a, you know, pretty pretty well-known illusion. Uh, pretty, pretty trippy to do, especially to, like, actually break it down yourself and learn how to create it from scratch. So, um, yeah, before I throw up, I'm going to turn this off. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't throw up. Turn it off. Bye. Thanks.